I think you have the magic touch. No, I don't. Oh, see, it booted me out. Okay, so now we have to reboot this little guy. Sometimes it's very frustrating. Wow. That's not the only one you have? The only scanner. This whole huge store, you only have one of those? Well, we had two, but it, the other one went down. We have a bad Wi-Fi system. We need more modems so that, what is that? we can have more Wi-Fi. That's the problem. I didn't even get past the first rack, and already the scanning gun was choking up, timing out. I mean, I don't know what's going on in my IT department. It's coming up. Oh. It's, nope. I really need to find out what on earth is going on in these stores. Oh, there you go. Okay, and then start scanning. One dollar. Okay, you're gonna cross off the original price. You're gonna change this to read one dollar. And then you're gonna put it right there. What's going on? Somebody stole something. Unfortunately, they were too late to get to the door. It's too late? It's too late. Well, where's I'm security? <laughs> we're the security. Uh, I, I, I'm, in, I'm in total shock. It's like every time I walk into a store, I never know what I'm going to find. All right, I have to go up by Amy. This Come way? On this way. After what I just saw and what I just heard, I, I'm really boiling right now. There's definitely going to be some major action taken on this circumstance. And that was a first look at this Sunday's episode of Undercover Boss on CBS. I am joined in studio now by Shoppers World CEO Sam Duche, looking a little different than you did in that clip we just saw, a little different hair and no more goatee. <laughs> it sounds like you learned a lot about your company uh, doing this show. Tell us, what did you discover and what, what changes, if any, have you implemented? Well, I think each one of the jobs and each one of the roles that I played on the various days uh, that I was undercover definitely taught me different lessons. Uh, for me, coming out of this, the, the probably, the, the, if there's one thing that stands out, it was that the employees are so dedicated at their jobs and feel as if they, they just feel as if they don't have an opinion and they don't have a say in the company. I mean, I'm talking about each individual employee. Um, one example was the clip we just saw mm -hmm. with the scanning gun. Had I not worked in the store with that employee, she was, she was never voicing her opinion that the scanning guns choke up on a daily basis. I mean, I, I just invested all this money to put this, this high-end technology in our stores to make jobs easier. And so these employees could be successful at their jobs. Um, and yet it's, it's, I, I walk into the store and I find out the total opposite. So what are you doing to sort of make things easier for them or to l allow them to be heard? So, so, so I'm trying to lay down the foundation of a culture where every employee uh, means something in the company and every employee's voice needs to be heard. Tell us a little bit about Shoppers World for people who don't know. It's a, it was, it's a family business and it's now grown to 40 stores in 11 states. Right, right. So uh, I, I'm actually third generation. Uh, we're a discount department store. We carry everything uh, for your home all the way through to every gender of apparel. Uh, mostly brand names at uh, severely discounted department store prices. Um, I took over the company at uh, the age of 27. Uh, I, I truly grew up in the company. Uh, and I took the company from eight stores to 40 stores over the past 10 years. That is a huge amount of growth and more growth to come next year because you're going to open up another 20 stores. Correct. Is there a reason to take some pause for a moment after the experience you had at Undercover Boss, learning what you did about the company, knowing you're growing 20 more stores next year? Are you, maybe are you growing a little bit too fast? That's, that's, that's definitely a question to be asked. Um, I, I definitely think that we're on track and we have the platform to grow to 1,000 stores. I mean, I don't have any doubt that we can achieve that. Um, and no, I don't feel we're growing too fast. I feel we should have done this. We could have done this and should have done this 
a generation ago. Did anybody recognize you when you were undercover? You know, I was, I was actually in a store that I uh, visited f fairly often growing up. Uh -huh. um, and that's in, uh, in Jamaica, Queens, not, not too far away from here. Uh, and I came face to face with a veteran employee that's worked for my father and my grandfather and is still working for me. Mm. And I mean, this, this is a man who, who taught me a lot about the retail business. And he looked me dead straight in the eyes. I looked him dead straight in the eyes. And I nothing. dropped <laughs> to the floor in between racks of clothing, and literally started to crawl out on all fours out of the store. Uh, I, I thought I was busted. Uh -huh. He didn't even have a clue. He had no clue it was me. Well, well, hair and makeup did a good job on you. So, uh, well, Sam Duche, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. And you can catch his episode of Undercover Boss this Sunday at 8.30 Eastern Time on CBS. And let us know what you think. Reach out in the comments section below or on Yahoo Finance's Facebook page.